Hello everyone, BlueJack287 here. Welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Play of Planet Base. Um, I had some encoding issues with the first video, my apologies, so if it seems a little jerky and glitchy. Um, I've changed some settings in OBS, and I should have really played around this more than I did, but I changed some settings in OBS, so we're going to see if this, hopefully, episode does a little bit better with that. Um, and if not, I'll have to do some more troubleshooting. So, where we left off last time, we got our basic module built. So I'm going to go ahead and get this game going again here. Um, we got our basics of the basics going already. Um, and our next goal is we need to get our biodome built. Uh, we need to start producing food. Our meals are down to 11 and we have a 9 people, so... Food's a little tight at the moment. Food is a little tight. We'll try and get that fixed. So... Um, our constructor bot is actually on the way over to build the biodome as we speak, so that is very, very convenient. And we can actually get our second metal processor built as well, so we will be able to crank out, start cranking out a lot more uh, metal. Alright, so biodome, the structure is there, not quite done, it's about not quite halfway done, so we'll, we're getting there. And then once that's built, all of our plastic is going to go into building vegetable pads because we need food. Our people need food. And then actually while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and get a meal meal synthesizer, meal maker built too, since we can at least get the stuff hauled in for that. That was another very close. I think it was, I'm guessing it was over here somewhere. Yep, it's right there. There it is. There it is. Uh, we do always run the risk of one of those meteors hitting our facility, so the very first time I played this, let's just say there was a very unfortunate um, impact that ended the colony. Okay, um, let's get some food done. So there are several different types of pads we can do. Um, the, the red ones here are just basic food pads, so we're going to go ahead and do three of those, I think, off the bat. Now these yellow ones are do two things. One, they also produce food, not not quite as much as the red ones, but they also produce starch, which starch is what we use to make a bioplastic. So I'm going to go ahead and build three of these pads as well. And some of them grow faster, some of them require more maintenance. I don't pay attention to that. I probably should, but I just slap them down. So we got six of those built. That's going to take up our remaining plastic. Um, yeah, so once we get that down, you can see there's one of our meals being consumed. All right, so now he got there calling in the bioplastic. So these right, these food pa pads get built with bioplastic. I guess yeah, our, all of our spares got hauled in. That's I guess good, but um, yeah. So actually, yeah. So. They're going to go ahead and get this hauled in and then we'll start getting those constructed. One thing I'm actually going to queue up over here in our processing plant is I want to get a plastics, proce bioplastics processor. I'm going to queue it up. We do not have, it's going to take, it requires metal to make. We do not have that quite yet. Um, we will soon though. We will soon. Um, Alright, so we got a couple built already. Excellent. And he is tired. Well, go sleep, buddy. I cannot produce more beds at the moment. You gotta, everyone's got to share the four beds that we have. This is a dictatorship, damn it. You sleep where you are. Sorry. I'm answering a text message on video. How inappropriate and unprofessional is that? So we do get a trading ship. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the trading ship. So is he has a lot of really advanced stuff we do not need. So he has semiconductors, which are we are waste. We will be able to produce our own semiconductors, but we are a waste from away from doing that. Um, he also just has coins, which is just generic money. So we can, if we have anything extra we can trade that we want to trade right now, we can. You know, trade some spare parts and get some credits, and we can use those later. Um, we can also he has a carrier bot, a constructor bot, and a driller bot. Which a driller bot I usually don't have, but but that mines, if I recall. There's just no reason for us to trade for any of this right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and dismiss him. 
our goal is to be completely self-sufficient, which we are, once we get this uh, bioplastics processor built, we will get a little notification saying we are now self-sufficient, but we are ways from that. So our meals are continuing to drop. I would like these pads up and running pronto. So we got four out of six of them built with, that's, that's about to be five out of six. And then, okay, so here comes a biologist. He's going to start working on these. As you can see, this is 21% away from 22% complete of producing some vegetable. So that will come fastish. Um, all right, what else do we need to do at the moment? I think nothing. What you doing? Going to connection. He's just idle. He's just sitting there wiggling his arm, apparently. Hey, we got more colonists. Excellent. How many did we get? Let's hope we got a couple more. I want a couple more. So we just got one. Yeah, we only got one. And it's a worker, which is fine. You can um, alter. So you go um, click on... Oh, let's get out of here. So in this base menu, you click on this little settings, or base management, and then you click on the landing permissions. <clears throat> you can set um, percentage-wise who comes. So if you want more workers, you increase this and decrease the percentage of the other ones. Um, if you need more engineers or whatever, you can increase those numbers and decrease the percentages of the other ones. You can also set, you know, do you want colonists, traders? If I just want to stop getting colonists for a time being, seeing we're having a major food crunch, I can shut off colonists if I want. Uh, I, I really don't do that very often. I've only done it a couple of times. And visitors, we can't have visitors yet because we do not have the right pad, landing pad for them. It's a uh, starport. Yeah, so starport will allow visitors. We are a long way from that. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Why are we out of water? Oh, God. We have problems. This happens for some reason, and I have not really found a reason why. Occasionally, your water production drops. And what two things require a water? Your biodome and your oxygen production. And this usually does not happen so soon. Uh, this is actually really concerning. And it's continuing to... Oh, okay. That is getting really close. God damn. All right. Um, why is this happening so soon? And the problem is we do not have any metal. We can't produce and build another one of these right now. And even if I do, so okay, here it's starting to raise again. Oh, and they already took up our last piece of metal. So now we legit have no metal. So... Okay, how much do we need? I think we need two metal total to build another one. But the number is increasing again. I, 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 I need, I'm going to have to do some research. Cause this always this happens often, and I don't really know why. Where your this will suddenly drop below what it normal its normal production is. I'm actually going to Google that on my phone right quick and see if why that happens. Planet base. Water extractor. Let's see what pops up. Um, okay, well, it's actually it's back up to normal. We've got normal water now again. And see now it's well above what we need again. It 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 does this for some reason. We'll have to watch it. It'll likely do it again. Hopefully it doesn't, though. So that will actually have to be our next expansion is building another water. We can't afford to have that happen. We're already down to three meals, and the lack of water will have stunted our food production. This might be a short... <laughs> this might be a short Let's Play, boys. Let's uh, let this play out for a second, I guess. Maybe my experiment of delaying the food production is not going to work out. Mm. 
It's fine. You're in space. You don't need food, right? <laughs> right? I'm actually going to change my landing permissions here. <gasps> oh, God. Where did that hit? It hit the pro... Oh, okay. We just suffered a meteor impact to our processing plant, and one of our citizens was inside at the time. So that would have been one of our engineers. Oh my god, this is turning out to be a really rough episode already. That I Again, I have not had a meteor pack that hit that soon before. I guess it's fine that it was here. If it hits like one of these central ones, that's a huge issue. I should almost get like uh, redundant connections going. Alright, so atmosphere has been reestablished inside this pod, so it'll be functioning again. So one thing you see, this guy is, has an injury. He's got trauma of some kind. Uh, which we just had took a meteor impact to our base, so... Not surprised that people have injuries. But we don't have enough resources to uh, build the sick bay quite yet. And we really need those to pop out food. It's so like, look, this is up to, oh, it's up to 4.4. And before it was down to 2.5. I don't know why it does that. It, it kind of warples a little bit, but hopefully it doesn't do it anymore. Con a ship. Okay, well hopefully we replace that guy that got killed. Damn, I wish I had been had my camera repositioned. We would have gotten a nice view of the impact, but I was sitting like right about here, I guess, when it hit, so we missed it. That's right. We had to watch one of our sitters had to suffer one of our citizens perishing, so... Alright, so... What do we, what do we got? So we'll have two meals left. That's at 90%. 73, 75... 55, 56, 91. Okay, so we are about to pop out a couple of vegetables. So as soon as those vegetables get produced, they're basically going to get taken right to the meal maker and produce some new meals out of it. I am aware of the food stock situation, thank you. Come on, food. Come on, food. 94%. You can do it. Get that higher, please. Undo. Oh boy. We are down to one meal. That These just really need to pop. Okay, so we got 75, 86. 79, 86. 87, 62, 63. Yeah, so we're about to crank out a whole bunch of vegetables, so I think we'll be okay. We aren't going to quite fall down to zero meals, thankfully. We are really damn close to it, though. There we go. So we just cranked out a bunch of pieces, a bunch of vegetables. There we got two vegetables. So come grab those very quickly, please. And these are getting bad. We, we need more biologists. Um, what I was doing when we hit that, got hit by the meter, I'm going to increase... We need more biologists, so I'm actually going to increase this number a little bit. Which is going to drop our engineers a little bit. But that's fine. Actually... I'm, I'm okay with having us very few medics, actually. Alright, so here they took the vegetables over here, they put in the meal maker, and then the meal maker, it'll turn to convert them, so you can see the process of producing a new meal. So we actually just ran out of our other meal. And there we go, some of them got converted to a meal. So he's going to bring over some more vegetables, so there's a chance we'll get another meal out of it. Oh, not quite yet. Um, once these pop out more vegetables, though, we'll start producing meals. So I think we're okay in that guard. Alright, we really need a sick bay. So I'm actually, since the water extractor is doing good right now, I'm going to go ahead and get the sick bay queued up. So I'm going to put it off of this. Does that need to be. I have one internal connection. Yeah. I was afraid of that. So some structures. Cannot, it can only have one connection. So, example, a dorm can only have one connection. Uh, oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Did not want to press that. That could have been bad. Um, sick bay is another one. It can only have one connection. So once you build this, it, you can't build anything else on top of it. I'm going to get that queued up. It, we're a ways from that being able to be constructed. We need two units of plastic and one, one unit of metal built. Yeah, the plastic is going to be the big... We only have one of those built up here now, but that's fine. 
We just have people that are injured. We need to have a sick base so we can treat them. Alright, so now we have our uptake six, six vegetables. And we are producing meals. Excellent. And see, they're carrying stuff for the meal maker. So I think we have survived the little bit of a crisis. Hopefully, we'll produce a few more. Come on, produce some more meals, please. There we go. I was going to crank another one out. Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah, see, these are already getting to the point where they are ready to pop up more. So, that's excellent. That is excellent. Now that they're going to be maintained, and we are hopefully won't have another dip in. Oh, that's dipping again. Shoot. I may have to delay, to delay the sick bay. I'm going to keep an eye on it. That's dropping fast. I can't get rid of that. I'm going to keep another water extractor. It's gonna, Once I have two metal, it'll, it'll go up. I just have no choice right now. Trading ship. This is a chance. If, if they have food stuff, I may have to consider trading for it. And they do. I can trade for just vegetables, I guess. Those are cheap. I can do the vitriol meat. Or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to trade a couple of those for some vegetables, and I think that's as close as I can get. I can get credits of the rest, I believe. That's what they want. Okay. So I just traded for stuff for five vegetables. I did trade away some of my parts, which I know I just said not on, I think, last episode that I don't like doing that. Right now, we really don't have a whole lot of choice because our food situation is a little bit dire. That's continuing to drop. Dropping fast. I don't know why it does this. Yeah, so we're about to have a problem. Our biodome is about to shut down because we're going to dip below our minimum water requirements. It can. I can build a water tank. I kind of forgot about this. There it goes. God dang it. Oh. Instead of building that, I'm going to do the, the water dome, the water tank. Because it's not that we can't produce it, it's that we're having these little random dips in our production of water. And so if we have this storage tank, then when it's producing the excess, it'll at least store some. So when we have these dips, it will have a... Basically the same concept as this power collector. I kind of forgot about the water tanks, to be honest. I was just in my other let's play... My other times I played this game, I just would build another water collector, or water extractor, but we'll build that instead and see how it goes. But now it's extremely important that you get another piece of metal built. Hopefully this production bounces back soon. Hopefully soon. I have not seen any encoding issues with the video so far, so I'm hoping it stays that way. Hopefully we've got that solved. Alright, this is starting to bounce back. I hope it goes starts going faster though. We are pretty good on vegetables right now because we just traded for some. So luckily we got and it still says they're excellent, so that's okay I guess. This is so irritating. I don't know why this is such an issue in this one. There, there it was. 
Ugh. This is gonna be an action packed let's play. I just have that feeling in my bones. The feeling in my bones. Alright, we just cranked out a whole bunch of metal, so let's get that built right now, please. Okay, so we are back above our minimum water requirements, so. Good. Um I think I'm gonna get another keep up another piece of uh, another unit of uh, metal production in here with our last piece of metal. And then I'm actually going to build because I got enough for I got one piece of starch, bioplastic, excuse me. So I can build one. I'll do one of these ones. Uh, I just put up another food producer. Okay, get that connected, please. Thank you. All right, so now we're starting to store water. Excellent. Okay, well, hopefully that'll solve our issues when this dro drops again. I don't. Want I don't want to be dealing with this anymore. So the next we have to get this third metal processor built. And we have to get that extra, that'll be, that'll be our seventh food patty, food pad, our vegetable pad. Which our vegetables look okay, I mean, it's not fantastic, we only got four meals. It's better than nothing. I think our next piece of plastic, I'm gonna build another meal processor. Because we, we have enough people, we're gonna need it. We're at 10 right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and queue that up actually. Put it right. Really? I can only put it there, huh? Okay, that's fine. I'll put it there. But you know, I also. You know what? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna backtrack what I just said. We really need a sick bay, which I was gonna do before I had to build this water tower. Which is still, in, still continuing to fill. That's good. That's excellent. Yeah, I I really need that sick bay because I got people that are hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up the sick bay. Let's do that. And it's going to be a, a bit before it is ready to go. Because I need another piece of plastic and I need two pieces of metal. Which one's. There's two already in construction, but they're a ways off. Hmm. I feel like this different start isn't didn't increase my efficiency at all. Well, I take that back. Part of the problem is why it's not efficient is we've had some serious issues. We've had problems with the water extractor having random dips. We've had we had already had a meteor impact to our colony. We just had, we've had issues, which usually don't pop up this soon. Alright, we just got two more people though. We got, we got a biologist and an engineer. That is great. We need both of those. So yeah, these two things need to basically just sit and run around the clock so I can get this sick bay constructed. How's our power doing? Pretty good. Draining really fast right now because there's not a lot of wind. This can produce a maximum of 30 units or 30 kilowatts, and it's producing five right now, which is actually it's starting to increase. So wind's picking up, which is good. Yeah, see, these are, these are in, only in decent shape now because of the water issues and whatnot. I think I'll pop up more vegetables though, which is good. Now we come on. 3371. That's not good enough, guys. Come on. Hmm. What a lull, huh? I should almost advance this a little bit off camera, but I'm already 24 minutes into this episode, so we're just gonna keep going. I might I may advance it just a tad. I'm, I won't build anything new. I just want to get some supplies so we're not just sitting here staring at a screen. So I guess I can plan things out a little bit more. So See. Basically, what I'll have to do is I come and then I'll be able to branch. You can send modules this way and send modules this way. I've got this nice big open space here to build on. God, this is so inefficient. I had this big open plane I could have built on, but I just didn't. I should have paid more attention. I... 
However, we should be fine. 33, 33, and 71 still. They are not advancing that at all. Come on, boys. Oh, man. So there, our water tower is almost full. It's now in that bitch. Sags again. We'll be fine. We'll be okay, because we have a water tower. It's ready to serve us until our water extractor comes back above its production level. Mr. Engineer, why are you idle? How about you take one step to your right and start building that power storage is low. Ooh, we're not ready for that problem yet. I think we're okay. However, once I get this built, that might be an issue. Does this produce take power? It does, yeah. Hmm. So the problem is our storage is not sufficient to cover our nighttime power requirements. So we need a couple of things. We're going to need another power collector, which I'll probably do a small one since we are really strapped for resources. We'll also probably need more production of it. Ooh, okay. There's another one. Right there. God, these are all hitting very close. So I need another power collector. I would probably need another soil panel and eventually another wind time item too. That obviously requires a lot of metal that I do not have right now. So we'll stay the course, I guess. Okay, there's a piece of metal. That's at 46%, and that last piece of plastic is at 23%. That's just not sufficient, boys. Come on. We'll be fine as long as it gets up to full, I think. A couple of things you can do is you can shut off the mine. That'll save you 4.5 kilowatts. You can also shut down the like, individual components. If I want to shut down like this metal processor specifically, I can do that. I just hit this button here. That piece of metal got hauled out already. Alright, so that one's actually at 85%. That is fantastic. And, oh, more colonists. Alright, that's good. The more colonists we have, the more faster our production kicks up, but also the more food and oxygen requirements and whatnot that we have. Oh man, we got three. Damn. Alright, we're apparently doing pretty well. We're attracting people. Like a second meal. I really need a second meal maker, but I just can't afford it right now. I mean, we absolutely need the mega sick bay. We need a like, second meal. We need more power. Yeah, we just need stuff. We just don't have enough to support the stuff. All right, so here, our water requirements are below what they should. What our extractor is producing. So now we're drawing out of that water tank. But we are okay because we have that water tank now. I wish I would have remembered that they, you can build the structure. So I had some similar issues in some other playthroughs I had. How are we coming? 93%, 38% in the plastic, however. So now we're now we're getting plenty of engineers, so we actually are able to produce some, uh, quite a bit of metal right now. So there we go. So we actually have excess, one piece of excess metal. Excellent. We need two total for this. Is one of these getting stored, I assume. Yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use that last piece of... Well, oh, hang on. I need more metal, right? For the power situation. So I, what I was going to do, I was, I, was, I was going to use that last piece of metal that we have right now and make another bioplastics processor. However... We need more power generation. So I'm going to have to hold on to that for now. It's at 88%. I really wish that would get going. Come on. 
spit it out. Spit it out, boy. There it is. Okay, so we just produced our last piece of plastic. So our sick bay is going to get constructed now. And then once it gets constructed, we'll have to build a sick bed in it. And then you also have to produce a or build a like a storage for medical supplies. So right, right now they're all in here. But once you build a storage, like a little it's like a little chest or something, all these will get moved into the sick bay. And it'll save some space in our main storage facility. Alright, so here we're starting to pump out quite a few vegetables. So our meals should be fine for now. Um There's another meteor strike. Boy, this is a very hostile area for meteors. And, uh, it's a lot. This is the most meteor strikes that I've had so close to my base, I think, and since I've been playing this game. And it is about time to get this cut this episode off, but I want to get. I'll wait for them to construct them sick bay, and then I'll cut the episode. Start to four metal. Two of those are for that. I'm actually gonna make a small power collector because we have enough. Metal. We actually have enough metal to do that. So let's get those. Come on, hey. There we go. Connect that. Because we have enough metal to actually build that connection now. Because two metal are going into our sick bay. And we have two left over. Next piece of metal will have to go through a new, to a second bioplastics processor, because we're going to need to start cranking out more of that. It's like there, our sick bay is now built, so now we're equalizing the oxygen in it. So, um, we'll have to, oop, hey, hang on. We'll have to build two things in here. I'll do one bed, first of all. I also need a medical cabinet, so I need two pieces of plastic to get that actually functioning. But we at least have the space now. Which I'm gonna go ahead and build a bed. They will carry. Yeah, not calling the ship. They will carry medical supplies from the storage in here to treat people. So as long as we have a bed, they people can still get treated, even if you don't have the supply cabinet in there. But. Yeah, we'll at least get that going. Alright, so there's a second power collector. And then there's a connector for it. So this this collector was actually was maxed out before the sun went down, so I'm hoping that second little power collector will be able to store a little bit more. Or we're just I, I think there's some that it's just not getting used. It's because our storage is maxed out. So I'm hoping that is the case. All right, bed in the sick bay is now built, but the guy that's hurt is apparently heading to real bed, not I'm sick bed. That's fine. So hopefully he'll come take care of his injuries after. Okay. Well, I got through all everything here. So, well, that was a rough episode. <laughs> We had a lot of stuff we had to overcome, but we survived it. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling that meteor impacts are going to be a serious issue in this game. Some uh, some games are like I've had some where you get solar flares nonstop. I've had some where you get sandstorms nonstop. Apparently, this is when we're going to have meteor strikes nonstop, which it's okay. This one was okay because it hit an end module. However, if it hits something central, like our oxygen generator, bad things happen. That actually happened the very first game I played. I had a nice central oxygen oxygen generator to supply the whole place. It got hit by a meteor impact, and the colony did not survive. <laughs> um, so that's why it's nice to have kind of redundant passageways, if possible. Or, well, this generator is only good, only produces enough oxygen for 20 people. So we're at 15 people right now. Soon we're going to have to have another oxygen generator. So for the time being, we need to get our production better so we can actually handle doing that kind of stuff. Um, and we'll start expanding from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very eventful episode two. 
Um, and so next we will, like I said, increase our production, increase our meal production, um, potentially expand the beds of the dorms, and if we're doing well, we may expand, uh, we'll have to expand the power generators, um, and we'll have to start expanding into some of the more advanced production modules, so we will start um, thinking about working our way towards making bots, but we got a ways before we can handle that. We also will need to build the labs. We, could, we can produce medical supplies, which speaking of which, we'll have to put a pad in here that produces medical or, uh, medical herbs, because then you have to make medical supplies from the herbs. So we got a lot of stuff we need to get done. Um, not sure if that'll all happen in episode three, though. We're talking a few episodes down the road of uh, stuff to get done. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.